All right, Shalom, Shalom. The real Hebrew Israelites coming day in and day out to prophesy the downfall of Babylon the Great. First off and foremost, call Halalim, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. All right? And right now, apparently, I'm watching this video of this bugged out ass woman, man, with her message against uh, the, the Hebrew Israelites, right? So she says, uh, we contradict ourselves, you know, with certain scriptures, right? Now, when the bitch opened up the video, the whole time you contradicted yourself. You said you wasn't a prophet. You said you wasn't a scriptural person, right? And then turned around and said, but you speak truth, right? Then you contradicted yourself again. You said all that. You said, I don't have to give you a scripture. I'm not a scriptural person. Then you turn around and read the scriptures. So in terms, the shit that you were saying, you contradicted yourself in the first five minutes of your own video. All right. And I can bear with me because I'm currently driving. So I'm going to quote the scriptures right off the top of my head. All right. So she said, um, well, you don't supposed to be hate. Be hate, uh, have hate in your heart, or be uh, or anger. You know, she said uh, the sheep of the uh, of the Lord's uh, sheep of the Lord hear his voice. Well, hold on, bitch. You forgot to read what David said. I hate them that hate thee, O Yahweh. I hate them with a perfect hatred. All right, you forgot to read that, didn't you, bitch? All right, Malachi one, man. I have hated Esau. And I have loved uh, Jacob, all right? And it's reiterated in Romans, man. For it's written that I have uh, uh, hated Esau and loved Jacob. So who you ignorantly call God hates, all right? You say, oh, you're supposed to be angry. The scripture says, be ye angry and sin not, all right? Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Surely oppression, uh, oppression maketh for wise man mad, all right? It says a righteous man scarcely smile. So what does that mean, bitch? All right? You have no idea what you're talking about, what you're preaching. All right? See, the whole time you say you get sick of people, religions, and, uh, you know, and their, and their false doctrines. Well, if you claim that you're not an evangel uh, evangelist or a scriptural person, why, why does that matter to you? Why does that matter to you? Why, why do you have the Bible anyway? And then you said, well, uh, I don't have to come from the Bible. Well, bitch, I know you ain't got the truth. Because that's what? Isaiah 8 and 20. To the law and testimony, if they come not uh, from this word, basically, there's no light in them. All right? So you're just a light-skinned bitch that thinks you're pretty and you're going off. So you know what's going to happen to you? Micah 7 and 10. See, all you fucking women right now has this Jezebel spirit on you. All right? So, bitch, you better talk from over a camera because... And that day, your ass gonna be willing to submit. But maybe how about Shema Shah wipe your ass off the face of this planet Earth if your ass don't repent, man? Then you constantly going off. You're reading the scriptures, your head's not covered. You're trying to correct men, because that's really where this um, message is to uh, uh, directed towards. The men of uh, Israel, man. All right? And you happen, you happen to um, come across the true prophets, man. Us here at GMS. Bit said, I don't care if you guys uh, about your opinion, uh, your opinions, or if you're offended. Well, bitch, if you saying that, that's how we've been, been felt about you scoffers. We don't give a fuck about the videos you make. All right, we're just gonna correct your ass with the scriptures and keep it moving. All right, and guess what, bitch? I really hope that Yahweh Shemuel Shah kills you, man, for coming against the men of Yahweh Shemuel Shah. All right, now I'm gonna watch a little bit more of this video and I'll come back with my commentary. And then, woman, you constantly. Like, I'm still watching this video. You keep on claiming you're not a scriptural person and then keep on saying these are one of my favorite scriptures. So which one is it? You sound like you're a contradiction, man. You're a contradiction itself. All right? You just want to go against the man of y'all about Shemel Shah, man. All right? But hey, keep on fucking around, man. And this is to all you scoffers, man. This is to all you scoffers out there, man. All right? Madam Logic, dumbass. All right, this pretty dumb bitch, all right? But your spirit is ugly as all shit, all right? So you read the acts that um, really 
Um, yeah, that's referring to uh, that goes back to Joel in the last days. I should pour my spirit of, uh, amongst uh, all people to prophesy. Hey, who is that directed towards? That was directed towards Israel, man. The book of Acts was directed towards Israel. All right, read the second chapter, bitch. Read Acts 5 and 31. See, bitch, I want you to do the research. All right, but you ain't got the understanding thereof anyway. All right, so you're just a woman that's bugged out of her goddamn marbles, man. All right? You're talking about um, look deeply into that scripture. Well, did you read verse 18? All right? Because he actually breaks it down in verse 18, right? He said, end on my servants. Who's the servants? The prophets. All right? End on my handmaidens while I pour out my spirit. Now, listen. In verse 18, listen, because you got to understand. The Most High shows these other nations visions of their destruction and their impending doom, so to speak. All right, that does happen. All right, that really does happen, but it's not in a, uh, uh, to the state where they're out want to uh, teach the people. They're going in the corners and things of that nature, man. All right, prophesying is really set up for the men of Israel. Now, will these other nations see signs and? visions of their downfall you, you goddamn right they will man but ultimately who are the true prophets and who is really doing this thing all right who's the spirit of Yahweh how about truly on up oh, well bitch read amos 3 and 7 man read hebrews the first chapter read luke the first chapter about yahweh speaking by the uh, the mouth of his holy prophets man all right amos 3 and 7 surely the lord power will do nothing but reveal his secrets into the prophets man all right and even going back to that joel like i said really it was directed towards israel man now we know the scriptures are manifold and yes the, the the these other nations do you know get visions and see certain things man all right but it's like i said it's not to the uh, uh the point where they're going out and they're teaching the nation of israel all right because their job is not to do that man all right Shit, Pharaoh had dreams, man. Nebuchadnezzar had dreams. So what? Did that mean he was going to go out and teach and be a goddamn prophet, you bitch? Talking about look at it with your third eye. Well, you can't even see it, bitch, because your spiritual third eye is blackened by the spirit of Yahweh Shemiah Shah, man. All right? You're just going off, man. So apparently what we're doing is getting under your skin. Apparently, oh, I have a lot of Israelite... Uh, 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 followers who uh, is probably gonna unfollow, uh, you know, not like what I say. Listen, you know why that's that way? Because honestly, you're really intrigued about this Israel thing. Well, it's crazy, bitch. You're probably Israelite, man. More than likely, I know you're Israelite. So listen, bitch, you're really denying your own heritage. You're denying your power, man. If you want to be all people this, all people that, because your ass a little lighter than everybody else, you got that goddamn mulatto fucking spirit on you, all right? Most times going to judge your ass. Because guess what? You're denying Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And guess what? Yahweh Shai is going to deny you before his father's, uh, his father and the angels. All right? So really, th this is on you. All right? I'm going to end it right here. Because I ain't got the place, nor time, nor day to watch 43 minutes of this bitch just talk shit, right? So listen up, bitch. You open up your ears for this. Since you want to go off of that, Shut up, Hebrews. Let's just listen. I'm just quoting what God said. Who is salvation for? Who's the only people that's going to get uh, a, a saved? All right? I'll answer that. Only the elect of Israel, bitch. All right? All these other nations are going into fucking slavery. All right? Read Psalms, uh, the 140, uh, 40, uh, uh, 47th chapter, man. All right? That we're going to put these kings... Of these other nations and fetters and iron and lead their ass into captivity, man. All right, read that. Read Revelations 13, 9, and 10, man. All right, read Daniel the seventh chapter, man. How we gonna take this kingdom, man? All right, read Isaiah the 30th chapter, man. In the uh, I believe 30th chapter and the 33rd chapter, man. We're gonna take them captive who captives we were. That's Isaiah 14 and 1 and 2. But uh, um, it says uh, we're going to spoil them who spoiled us. I believe that's Isaiah 33 or Isaiah 30. All right. So what about those scriptures? 
All right, what about uh, Psalms, uh, uh, the second chapter, man? All right, the Lord's going to uh, uh, give us the heathen for our inheritance. All right, what about that? And guess what, bitch? I'm just quoting the words of Yahweh, man. How you like that shit, man? All right, that's all I'm doing. What are you doing? Besides scoffing. All right? Scripture says, truly, Jeremiah says, truly in vain, uh, truly the salvation hoped for in vain, basically, by these mountains and these hills. These the other nation. That's uh, that's why I said, read Acts 5 and 31. Repentance and salvation is only unto Israel, man. And that's starting with the elect. Okay? What about those scriptures, man? Israel, my chosen, my elect. All right? See, bitch, you don't know the scriptures, man. You just think this is a fab. You think this uh, Israelite drama shit. You think this is the next best thing or drinking your hot cup of tea. This, hey, listen, we do the work of your how about shimmy out shot, bitch. If you don't get it, you don't get it. And I ain't going to say so like you for calling your ass a bitch, all right? Because you're a shameless dog right now. You are very shameless, man. All right? So you know what, bitch? I'm going to leave you with this since I can't give you a graphic image and put it on the video. All right? May you how about shimmy out shot rip you up from your insides out. I, l I hope you die from the inside out, man. Slowly. All right? I hope you have an issue of blood for the rest of your life, man. All right? Baby crew. <laughs> but with that, all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Okay? You know, and this video is really a commentary. I'm listening and just quoting scriptures because I'm driving, you know, multitasking right now. But hey, through the spirit and power of your house, I pray that it was edifying. All right, with that, shalom until next time.